Hallo, mein Name ist Jan Hoffmann von Music Stuff und wir sind hier ähm, bei der Inflames Tour und äh, sitzen hier bei Tobin von Papa Roach, die der Main Support sind. Hi Tobin and Hello. thank you very much for having some time for us during the tour. Yeah, thanks for having me. Um, this is the third day I think into the tour, so so far it's been going really good. Okay, so you're not uh, too tired and too no. sick or something? No. We're all excited actually to be out here. Um, the Inflames guys, really nice guys. Um, all the all the bands on this tour are great, um, and we have a new record coming out, so we're, we're gearing up to be uh, playing new songs for the first time. That's always really exciting. So yeah, so you're you're trying like how the new uh, songs work on this tour? Yeah, we have one song that we we've learned together so far, so we still have to kind of dive through the rest of the songs. So when we're in the process of recording. You know, you're working so fast and recording ideas as they come. At least that's how we did it on this record. We wrote and recorded all at the same time. Sometimes we have to go back and listen to what we did and relearn everything, you know. Yeah. Would you say there's uh, some special direction uh, the new record's going into? Um, I, I think we really just tried to capture the best of Papa Roach, you know. And uh, sonically, it, it has uh, a heaviness to it that maybe our last couple of records didn't have. Um, but I mean, it's all, all the ingredients, you know, that we have uh, are all there on this record. And I think it's a really strong record. I'm uh, really proud of it and I'm really excited about it. Many people might think the, the bass player is not that much involved in songwriting and um, how's that with Papa Roach? Uh, how are you involved in that? Uh, I'm very involved with the songwriting that's actually like the funnest part for me is uh, you know I don't I'm not necessarily the type of bass player who just just dives into the bass line of the song and then that's it I'm like from the beginning uh, to the very end I'm involved with it like the, the arrangement the writing um, some of the overdubs and the added stuff uh, to how it's mixed to just pretty much everything um, sometimes I'll write ideas on the guitar sometimes i'll write it on the piano sometimes it'll start with a bass sometimes i'll start it with uh, creating like a drum loop or something just so many different ways just whatever really is best for the song or the idea okay but you're, you're also doing like uh, vocal melodies and, and, and lyrics or? no that i leave that up to jacoby that's that's his forte yeah he's all about the lyrics and the in the melodies and and you know i could just come with the music bed and the way we write the music's always first so i will you know record a demo and i'll have the drums programmed i'll have the, all the guitar and bass and and everything uh already done and then i give it to jacoby and then he kind of just listens to it over and over again until something sticks yeah so you have like a, a small recording studio at your house or something where you can yeah i mean You can pretty much do anything now with just a computer if you have it handy with all the software. Like I use Logic and Pro Tools and the AMP, you know, simulators in there are great. Um, just plug straight in, you know, use I have like this um, Apogee uh, Duet, which I plug in and it sounds great. And I can record um, all the guitar and bass doing that and program drums and the technology nowadays it's just made it so easy i can do it on tour in the back of the bus in the dressing room on an airplane like i'm always working on ideas whenever they come to me okay so you take one one of your bases always into the into the airplane <laughs> no no I, i pretty much um i just grab like whatever's around i i can't really record bass on an airplane but um it, you know what's funny is sometimes i i'll record like a synth you know, bass or, or um, something that sounds like a stock sound in the computer or have a bass sound and I can program that, you know, using like the piano tool and just as a reminder of what the bass line is, you know, I've been, I've become pretty quick with that. So if I do have a, a bass line idea in my head, I need to get it down real quick. I'll just, you know, kind of draw it in with the piano line or something like that. Okay. And would you say you're, you're playing the bass a little bit different because there's, only one guitar player in the band so you have to you have more space mm -hmm. and more room to fill with your bass so you play in different yeah i mean definitely i try to create um like a heavy tone 
sometimes with like fuzz pedals and distortion so that when, when me and Jerry kind of match up on a riff, it it's just sounds bigger and, or, or when, you know, he goes for a, um, a melodic thing that's in the higher register. It's like, I can kind of keep the low end and have some of that grit and that dirt, you know, by using fuzz and, and distortion and stuff like that. Those are my favorite pedals. I like to use that a lot. And a lot of it too comes from inspiration from listening to like, uh, you know, different types of music, um, and different instruments like synths and stuff like that. They have that gnarly kind of distorted, um, synthesizer tone like an old moog or something you know you would just gnarly sounding and i try to make my bass sound like that sometimes as well okay so um are you using live a, like a very flexible amp sound wise or is it just one sound on the amp and, and you're just um adjusting what you need with your yeah and the, the, the volume and yeah as you can see my bass is like really simple as far as the setup on it, it's just got a volume and a pickup selector, which I don't even use. I just keep the two pickups full on all the time. And the volume's just there for swells. Um, but uh, it's really about the fingers, I feel like. For me, I have just one setting on my uh, amp. And if, if I want like a, um, a tone that's really aggressive and I'll just dig in close to the to the neck or to the sorry to the bridge if i want it to be more bassy i just do it lighter you know up on the neck yeah. so it's really about the fingers how i approach it with my fingers i dig in really aggressively if i want that aggressive tone i play really light and to get that kind of subby reggae almost type sound so i, I switch them switch back and forth constantly when i'm playing okay but you're always playing with fingers right? yeah always playing with fingers Yeah, that's just how I started playing. It's like the most natural for me. Um, I love a lot of bass players that play with picks, and um, I'm also influenced by that sound. I love the sound of a good pick on a bass, but I'm, I try to get that with my fingers by digging in pretty hard. Okay, and which tunings are you using? Strings. And not tuning. Tuning. Oh, well, uh, currently we're playing everything in a drop uh, C, so it would be C, G, C, F. Okay. <laughs> So just because it's like a mixture of all your albums and all the songs? Um, well, we tried to narrow it down just to one tuning. So when we tour, it's really easy to just kind of play all of our songs with, you know, one one bass, one guitar we travel with, and then backups for both of those. And it, we used to have um, different songs and different tunings, and we would, uh, you know, ha have, have to have like six to eight guitar and basses out on tour with us. And it was just like, it's just unnecessary. We, over the years, we've learned to just tour as light as possible. So we kind of keep everything down in one tuning. I mean, if it's a half step, you know, or even a whole step from what the original song is, it just, it doesn't make that much of a difference to us to really have to worry about changing guitars all the time, so. Yeah, and your, your new album that will be out in the beginning of 2015? Yeah. Is all what is uh, also in drop C? Yeah, yeah, it's all pretty much in drop C. We, and plus too, like, we've learned like, uh, kind of like the key that fits really good for the vocals. Um, we've had songs that were a whole step higher in in like standard tuning and in d drop d tuning and it just seemed like over time um it's easier to perform live every night you know for jacoby too with his voice to uh, have things in a lower a lower tuning so yeah. a whole step down some songs are a whole step down from what we used to play them in and yeah just keep it easy and keep it simple it sounds heavy and and it you know still sounds good um And we, we play a lot of our songs in open keys, like a lot of them will be in the open D or the open C or an A or something, just because it you, you have fun performing that way. You can do lots of cool drones and you can play off of the open strings, you know? Yeah, so could you show us some riff of the new album or is it mm -hmm. a secret and should not be revealed? Um, no, I mean, there's a, there's a couple of riffs off of the new record that uh, are pretty fun 